Hi, this is Jimmy from The Productive Engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Google Docs Outline Tool to quickly navigate throughout your larger documents in Google Docs. So, stay tuned. Before we get started, if you like this video, please click the like button as it really helps me out. If you want to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified when I release new videos, please click that bell notification button. Okay, let's get started. So here I have a uh, Google Doc that I created using the Wizard of Oz book um, from Gutenberg uh, as my sort of template to show you how to sort of format some of the headings and titles so that you can use the outline tool. The Google Docs outline tool leverages the formatting of your document to create an outline of your um, document. So for, for both you know, structural purposes as well as quick navigation. So the first thing you really wanna do is set up your formatting before you go to use the outline tool because the outline tool really just derives the, its data from your document structure. So here you can see everything's sort of plain texty and we're gonna click on the, the heading here and we're going to make that the title. So first you do is highlight the text. You go over here to the format, the styles um, drop down underneath format. You just click it, drop down, select title, and now it's the title. Um, next thing you want, you're going to want to do is sort of go through and make your H1s and H2s. Um, H1s are sort of your section headers, and then H2s are sub subheadings within your section headers. You can also have H3s, H4s, etc., depending on how your document is structured. So what you're really going to want to do is go through your document. So for example, here, you can see I have the first um, heading here, uh, the cyclone, the first chapter heading. So I can go here, highlight that by double-clicking it, click on my styles go down to heading one and there it is i can do the same thing for the next heading if i scroll a little bit section two do the exact same thing click on my styles click heading one and etc cetera, etc cetera, all the way through the document okay so i'm actually transitioning over to a document where i've already set up all the settings with the headings and titles so as you can see here um, as i scroll through my document you can see uh, all my headings are here, the intro, Cyclone, um, like you saw before, and you get the idea. I basically went through and every heading um, is now set up as a heading inside of Google Docs. So at this point, it gets really simple. All you have to do is navigate over here to this little button right here that looks like a bunch of bullet points and show document outline. You click that. And now what you can see is that we literally have, this is the table of contents. So if I click one of these, it'll take me to that part of the document. If I scroll down here, I have my introduction. If I click that, it takes me to the intro. Um, you notice is that this text here, if I go to this section, um, scroll down here, it was, it was all caps. Um, actually, let me just click on it, be easier. Um, let door three go to the same emeralds. Um, actually it recognizes that as sort of a subheading. So it clicks that. The rest of it though, you can see, you can just click on, anytime you click on a, the sub, one of the headings here, it takes you right to that section of the document. When you're working in larger documents, um, you don't wanna have to scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, that just does not, it, it, it takes up too much time doing something that you shouldn't have to do in the first place. If you structure your documents from the get go um, to leverage the, the heading title heading h1 h2 h3 h4 type um, structure and use those settings rather than just manually adjusting the font and whether it's bold or not what well the advantage of that is that you can do things like this in google docs and that google docs will, will understand the structure of your document will be able to represent that to you in its outline form so i hope this tutorial is very helpful for you if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section. I read my comments and I do respond. So um, if there's any content that you want to see in the future, please you know just write that in there and I'll you know get on it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, if you liked this video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, click, please click the subscribe button. Thank you.